Namaskaram. Welcome to my channel, VPK Nutrition, Mind Body Healing with Pushpa. Um, first of all, Happy New Year to all of you. And as we all know, most people, when the new year comes, they make resolutions. And usually it involves, you know, losing a few pounds or going to the gym regularly, taking up a hobby, etc., etc. I mean, all of these are great goals to have. But as we all know, after a few weeks, things start to taper off and then people just... Um, you know, stop doing those things and then they get frustrated, angry and ir irritated with themselves and then feel hopeless. So um, in today's episode, I'm going to be sharing um, a, three tips that you can do, which is not so specific, but more of a general goal of purifying the body and mind. So, um, so this way you can actually create a habit that will stay with you for the rest of your life and you don't have to make new resolutions every year. So stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. First of all, thanks to all my viewers who have been watching regularly. And for those who haven't done so, please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, and also like it if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, uh, share it with your friends, and also give me some feedback through your comments so I can keep continue doing this. So let's get started with the topic today. Now, according to Ayurveda, swastha is the word used for health. And I've talked about this before. Swastha means being established in your pure self, which is beyond the body and the mind. So in yoga also, we talk about union of body, mind and spirit in order to feel healthy and function in this world. So how do we make that happen? There are um, three tips that I want to share today. So we'll start from the gross to the subtle level and work on these throughout the year to get to that level of purity. In the physical level, you, you obviously are starting with the body. So food is what nourishes our body. So we want to pick the best foods that are suitable for our body type. You want to also make it a point to make at least one freshly cooked meal a day. Okay, sit down, enjoy it, enjoy the taste, eat mindfully, chew your food well, because part of the digestion takes place in the mouth itself. And also pick a more sattvic diet, meaning something that is very pure for the body as well as gives you a lot of prana or life energy. And this would include things like whole grains, fresh fruits and vegetables, and also more plant-based proteins like lentils and beans and things like that, and less of the animal protein because those things are more dead in nature and really don't give as much prana as all of these fresh ingredients that I talked about. Second is the mental level. Now, the mind is very important and mental wellness is very important in, for, in order for us to feel more grounded and happy. So in the mental level, you can start purifying your thoughts and, and emotions by um, adapting a spiritual practice like, um, you know, listening or chanting devotional music, chanting uh, uh, your scriptures or verses from the scriptures and depends on whatever faith you are, it really doesn't matter. And also mantras, shlokas, there are a lot of things that are available out there. So if you can adapt some of these things and make it part of your daily routine, maybe for about 30 minutes a day or something, then that can actually help you purify your mind, get rid of a lot of the negativity, create more positive vibrations in the mind. And anytime your mind goes to a negative place, you can always adapt more of this to clean it up further. So this is something you can start right away. In Ayurveda, actually, mantras and shlokas have been prescribed as therapy for mental wellness. In the emotional level, again, we all go through lots of emotions like anger, irritability, envy, jealousy, um, um, pride, all of those things which can really pull us down if we don't pay attention to it. And our moods are also governed by that. Our relationships, interactions with people, everything is affected and when that gets affected, we feel even less healthy. At the emotional level, uh, we're talking about negative thoughts, right? So pick one negative emotion that you would like to get rid of this year and be mindful about that every time it arises. For example, anger is an emotion that most people don't like. Or I should say nobody really likes to be angry because at that point you might get angry but then later on you feel so terrible about yourself. So again, if that is one of those things, then see when your anger arises. This takes a moment to pause, be alert, you know, you know, know the emotion when it's coming up. 
then once you know it's coming up, ask yourself why this is happening. Maybe you can write it down and again, come up with some coping tools for next time when it comes up. Now, this is a process. It takes a lot of practice to get better at it. So don't give up after a few times. Keep going and you will slip every time, but you will always get better and better and better as the time progresses. So try this this year. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. For our number one goal for this year should be to purify our body and mind. And this will lead us to health and wellness in a holistic way. So I've shared about three tools today. One is taking care of the physical body with the proper food and eating, pro you know, eating properly. The second one, I talked about the mental level where you cleanse, um, you increase the positive vibrations of the mind with um, chanting and those kinds of things. Number three was at the emotional level, trying to let go of at least one negative emotion that you want to let go of for the year. Now, um, again, in yoga, there is a sutra, uh, sutra number 14, verse 14, Samadhipada. And, and this is how it goes. It talks about how our practice should be to be firmly established in that practice to work for us. So it goes like this. Sathu dhirga kala nairantadya satkara adhara asevito dhrida bhoomihi. So basically it says that the, the practice should have certain factors for it to work. Number one is dhirga kala, which means work, work for a long time, practice something long time for it to stick. Second one is nairantadya, consistently without breaking, satkara which is with reverence and faith that this is what is good for you and this is what you should do to help yourself. So unless you have faith, you cannot heal your body and mind. And then Adara, Adara again uh, should be full of enthusiasm. So if you don't have enthusiasm, you're not likely to continue. Then Ase Vito, done correctly, well attended to the way you're supposed to be doing it. So when you follow all of these factors, you will actually get success in whatever you undertake. Now, this is not just for the three things that I shared. Anything that you do, even you take exercise, it's the same way. And I think a lot of times we fall off the wagon because we don't follow these kinds of things. So that's why I said, Make it very simple, only pick two or three things to keep our mind and body clean. So when you think of it from an angle of cleanliness of the body and mind, you don't have to um, think of too many other things. And again, this is about your body and mind, so you know yourself better than anyone else. And the last thing that I'd like to leave you with is make sure you spend at least 20 to 30 minutes in solitude, being alone by yourself with your thoughts, understanding yourself, loving yourself, accepting yourself exactly where you are and moving forward. So um, have a wonderful week ahead. Again, enjoy the new year, embrace the new year, make some of these changes and see the results come at, over the year. Um, again, I'm going to be talking more about um, chakras in my future episode. Again, balancing chakras is very important for both, both body and mind. And um, I'm going to be covering those in the future episode. So look out for those. So have a wonderful week ahead. Again, listen to your body, observe your mind and heal yourself. So see you next week.